Right here, I got some of the best handheld consoles out there. In the last couple of years, I've gotten really into handheld consoles, and I really see the appeal to them. But in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the best handheld consoles in 2024, and all of these are pretty much, like, the older consoles. I unfortunately don't have, like, the ROG Ally or the Steam Deck. This is just what I have, so we're going to talk about what I have, I guess. So I think a good starting point is the PSP. This is the console that I always wanted as a kid, but I never had because I grew up with Xbox and Nintendo. I never had anything PlayStation growing up. So I eventually found a PSP on Facebook Marketplace. I got this thing for 20 bucks. But if you wanted to buy them, I think off the top of my head, they go for around like $80 or so, I guess, depending on what model you have. I think this is the oldest model. This is like the thickest model out there. I can't lie though. I haven't played this thing much in the last like year or two, but I have mine modded. What's awesome is that you could download PS1 games on this. So like I have Marvel vs. Capcom, which is an amazing game, by the way. Crash Bandicoot, which I haven't played too much of. You know, I got some Sonic, Midnight Club. We're in 2006 is such a fun game. If you get a PSP, I highly recommend getting this on the PSP. I don't know, the thing about the PSP is that like, it's it's easy to put in your pocket because it doesn't have any like stick, thumbsticks coming out. That's the issue with the PS Vita in my opinion is that you can't slide it in your pocket because of the thumbsticks. Even though the PS Vita feels great, it's so much harder to be, you know, transported, you know, if you're going anywhere. Even though I didn't have a PSP growing up, it's just like one of those really nostalgic consoles to me. I just love the design of it. I think the design is probably the best part. There are some really, really fun games on the PSP though. Especially if you mod it, it's endless. There's so many fun accessories that you can get for it. I would give this console like probably a 10 out of 10. Honestly, every single console that I have in this video though is a great console in itself. Like they all have their own huge pros and cons. The PSP is 100% without a doubt a console that I 100% would recommend. I think it's one of the best handheld consoles, one of the best retro gaming handheld consoles out there. And you could also download like Game Boy games on here if you have it modded, which I would prefer just to play it on my Game Boy or my, you know, 3DS over this, of course, it kind of looks a little stretched out with the resolution and everything, but overall, it's, it's a really great console. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the Nintendo DS slash DSi. So these two consoles obviously aren't drastically different. The biggest difference, obviously, is the Game Boy slot on the DS Lite. That's the biggest pro for me right there is the Game Boy slot. So these are both extra, wow, that was loud. These are both extremely nostalgic consoles for me personally. My The biggest upside about the DSi though is the build quality. I think the DSi feels way better than the DS Lite. The DS Lite is obviously cheaper, it's older, so it kind of feels a little bit more cheap, more plasticky, but the DSi feels so good in the hand. So, and the DSi has like a matte finish, which I think is just really nice feeling. Obviously, there's no Game Boy slot in here, which kind of is unfortunate. I'm pretty sure you were able to download Game Boy games off the DSi shop or whatever it was called. And you can also mod your DSi. I don't have mine modded. I don't really have plans to mod mine because, uh, you know, right there. If you're wondering what game is playing right now, that's Fossil Fighters. That's a really, really amazing game. I highly recommend that game. But if I were to suggest a DSi or a DS Lite, I think I would probably suggest the DS Lite just because the Game Boy slot. I think that that just makes it a little bit better. Of course, the DSi has the camera, which is really awesome, but you don't, I don't feel like anyone really cares that much about that. The DS Lite though, I think is my pick over the DSi, even though the DSi is amazing. You can't really go wrong either way. So I guess with that being said, let's move on to the 3DS. I made a video recently about the 3DS. Of course, this is the 2DS XL, but it's, it's a 3DS. And if I could go back when I was actually buying buying this, I probably would have purchased the new 3DS XL. I think that's probably the best 3DS console. The reason I got this one though is because this is like the final iteration of, you know, the DS family. I think the design is really cool. And I got mine a lot cheaper because of how like damaged it is. Like mine is extremely worn and scratched. And back when I bought this, they were at like their all time high. Like I, I still paid like 150 or 160. But if you're in the market for any DS console and you don't have anything, I would recommend you just buying some sort of 3DS. It, it doesn't really matter to me, honestly. It doesn't really matter. I feel like it's all personal preference which 3DS you buy. I think the new 3DS XL is the best one just because it's the biggest one. I think it's the best quality. It's just It just looks the best overall, even though this one is still great. I, I still really, really enjoy my 2DS XL. And going with the portability stuff, of course, the DS, the DS Lite, the DSi, whatever, they're all super portable. You could literally, you just close them and you throw them in your pocket. The best thing about the 3DS is modding it. There are hundreds of games. You can get the entire DS library, 3DS library. You could even 
get like fan made games on here and stuff, custom backgrounds. It just makes the console like the ultimate handheld console. So if if you're in the market for any sort of console, I think the 3DS is probably the best pick just because of the endless modding and capabilities that it really has. And of course it has the camera, which once again, it's kind of a cool feature, but doesn't really matter. But I'm currently playing through Pokemon Black, and then I'm going to start, you know, like Luigi's Mansion. I really want to play Luigi's Mansion. I also think that the community behind the 3DS is really, really cool. There's like hundreds of thousands of people in the community that are just like so nice, so kind, and that are constantly updating things that you could still download on the 3DS because it's not supported by Nintendo anymore. You know, the servers are shut down and everything, and I just think that this is just such an awesome console. Going on with Nintendo again, most of these are Nintendo pretty much. It's pretty much Nintendo and Sony, I guess. That's pretty much all I got today. This is the Game Boy Advance SP. So as far as what Game Boy model is for you, once again, I feel like that's personal. Of course, the original Game Boy is huge. It, that thing is so bulky. The Game Boy Color is also a little bulky. Not, not as much as the original Game Boy, though. I think the best model of Game Boy is the Game Boy Advance SP. I have mine custom modded with an IPS screen. So my screen looks amazing. It's not a backlit screen anymore. It looks so good. This thing glows like crazy. It really changes the entire experience of any game you play. So if you get any Game Boy, I think the, that I highly recommend you getting an IPS screen because it looks fantastic. What I like about the Game Boy Advance SP is that it actually has a built-in battery. So you could just plug it in and it'll recharge so you don't have to be wasting a ton of batteries. Also, it's extremely portable. This thing is so tiny. It literally will fit in anyone's pocket. Now you can add like software to these, but that's super hard and I don't even want to do that. So with my Game Boy, I'm just always going to buy a cartridge and play it on the native device. You know what I mean? The Game Boy to me was also a console I always wanted as a kid, but I never had. I was a little, I was a little too young, I guess. And when I was a kid, the DS Lite was the biggest handheld console, I guess, and the PSP. So I never had one, but I recently acquired one, and I think it's one of the coolest handheld devices out there. I think the aesthetic of it is the the best part about it. And there are so many amazing Game Boy games, but if you're going, but if you're getting a 3DS, you can download it on the 3DS. So the, like the Game Boy, so the Game Boy, if you're going with a cost budget, you know, cost friendly gaming handheld device i'd probably once again go with the 3ds because you could still play game boy games on the 3ds okay the switch i didn't realize how reflective the switch was you can see my entire face in that reflection but the switch is honestly one of the best nintendo consoles ever made i think the switch is amazing i think the games on it are all amazing the portability it's that's what kind of gets me though it's kind of big and of course the joysticks you know the thumb sticks whatever they pop out so it's kind of hard to be a little more portable like as portable as the game boy and ds and stuff like that but i think the switch is amazing i feel like there's not much to say because i feel like everyone has a switch it's like i think it's about to be the best like highest selling console of all time that is going to beat the ps2 because the ps2 was the highest selling console of all time which is crazy but i think the switch is great so many amazing games i feel like i don't have much to say about it though now the last console if you want to call this a console is the sony backbone so the sony backbone is like a controller attachment that goes on your phone but i think it's a really great portable kind of console so with this you can remote play on your playstation which actually works extremely well and you don't need to have a sony subscription or a playstation subscription you could just do it for free because i don't have the playstation subscription but i could still do it and it works really really well Better than Xbox, in my opinion. So there's a Sony Backbone app where you can play, you know, like Xbox Remote Play or just like straight from the the Game Pass, you could play games. You could play Apple Arcade, you know, PlayStation. You could actually play Steam games on here as well, GeForce. There are a lot of games that you can actually play on this. The biggest flaw in this is that it's streaming your game. So it's, it's a little laggy, not by a ton, not by much. And it's just a little like... A little blurry, I would say. Oh, I know this is a Sony product and I'm using it for Xbox Game Pass, which, you know, you guys get the gist. But basically, it launches with the cloud gaming and this thing is actually really good, but you do need a really good connection. You need a good Wi-Fi connection for it to not be extremely laggy and, you know, like 480p. But I think this is a fantastic device. It's a little expensive for what it is. I think it's like about $100 or so, but they sell it with a USB-C or a Lightning, which... I have the Lightning because I have an old iPhone 12. But overall, like if you're going for portable console gaming, 
and you don't have a PlayStation Portal, this is honestly just extremely good because the PlayStation Portal is expensive, you know, and this one is way more portable as well, and it's a lot cheaper. It definitely doesn't feel very great. Like, it definitely feels like cheaper plastic and everything like that. Like, it's not, it's nothing crazy, but you get in-game audio, and it's, it's just a good time. Like, the game looks great because it's, especially since it's on a smaller screen, the game the games do look pretty good, but every now and then you get some lag spikes or like a, a little delay, but overall it's nothing too much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Let me know what your favorite handheld console is. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.